Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about how to find the length, length of a two-dimensional array in Java. So, in the last video, we discussed the introduction part of two-dimensional arrays. Now, how to create the array in Java? So, what is the syntax? How can we define the array? How can we find the length of the total array? I'm going to explain. So here, suppose I'm taking, I just want to create, create an array with three rows and three columns. This is the one. So in three rows and three columns, total how many elements you can place means what total nine elements we can place. First of all, how can we create an array of length? Total nine, nothing but three rows and three columns. Right, how to create a one dimensional array in Java? Suppose int arr equals to new int of three. Suppose this is the size. So, how can we find the length means what? As it is one dimensional array. So, directly we call arr dot length. So, the total length we can easily find out by, by using that length variable on arr, nothing but array object we call. It will display the total length is a three so that you can store up to three values. But if you want to create a two dimensional array means what? Right here, the one square brackets representing the number of rows and second one is representing the number of columns. We are allocating the memory. For example, three rows and three columns. I want to create array like this. Three rows and three columns I want to create. So how can we find out the length? Suppose if you are finding just arr dot length, arr dot length, it will give how many number of rows are present. Hope you are understanding. How many rows are present? See here, how many rows are present? Three rows are present. Is a zero row, and is a first row, and is a second row. Three rows are present. So it will give the same value, same value is a three. So here it is just simply to say how many number of rows, total three rows are present. How many columns are present in each row? We can have different size of columns that is possible. But as of now here, we represent directly three rows and in each row, in each row, three columns are present. So in the first row, how many columns are present? Of course, that is in a same row, in a second row and in a third row also, right? If you want to find out, if you want to find out the columns, there's nothing but ARR of zero, zero length, only the zeroth location length. So ARR of zero dot, that length we need to find out. ARR of zero is representing the first row, the very first row. And how many columns are present means what three columns are present three is the way now we are representing like this so arr of zero length is a three right in each row the same length same number of columns are present so total size if you want to find out is nothing but total length if you want to find out the total length just multiplication so that is what arr dot length is multiplied with ARR of zero dot length is nothing but three into three. Three into three, so total nine. See, if I specify, if I specify that one more row, one more row, for example, four rows and three columns, I want to specify three columns, three columns and four rows. I just want to specify like this. So total, how many number of rows are there? Four. How many number of columns are there? Three. So four into three, 12. So here it is a four rows and three columns. Now, if you specify, look at this, the number of rows are four. And in each row, how many number of columns are there? Three. So the total length is 12. So this is the way we are finding the length length of two dimensional array in java hope you understood please execute and check the output thank you